In looking at our last lesson of the mini lessons that I'll share with you for names and titles. In this last lesson, I'd like to be able to share with you job titles. Now, some people can be addressed by their job title and then some usually are not. So let me share with you people you can usually address them by their job title. So these are the ones you can use. You can call somebody doctor. You can use their last name with it too, but even just saying doctor, um, is appropriate and usually it's used on medical doctors, dentists, and also people with um, PhDs. They've earned their doctorate. You can say driver such as to the bus driver or a person who's driving the car. You could call someone a nurse. So nurse, may I have some help please? You can say minister which is a general term for religious leaders and then we can have um, officer and waiter. These are people you can address, address in a simple title of what they have and it's appropriate to address them that way. And then there's some people that it's a little more formal because it's their job title. You might have a chief executive officer, someone who's in charge of a business or an organization. You might have a managing director, the one who's going to be the leader of a department that's managing something finance director, so the person that's in charge of the finances of a business or um, a company. You might have a superintendent, person in charge. And then a principal or a headmaster could be the one in charge of a school. A vice president could be of an organization or um, an elected office. And we can have mayor, another elected office, so the leader of a city. Or you can have chief such as a fire chief or a police chief. So they're the ones that are in charge of their department. So therefore it is appropriate to call people by this title. And usually this title can be used in the front, such as mayor, hmm. And then these ones usually tend to be used after their name. So you might say John Smith, chief executive officer. So a lot of these ones, let's see, uh, those ones there will follow the person's name. And then these ones, will be used before their name. So you can address people by their titles of their jobs. But one thing that I notice here in the United States, a lot of teachers get really upset when their students call them teacher, teacher, because it's not something very common here in the United States. It's very common in other languages, such as I have students from other countries and they do address their teacher using the word teacher in their language. And a lot of my friends at my work, they get really upset when the students is teacher, teacher, because for us, you should be addressing the teacher, such as myself, Mrs. Valencia, because teacher, teacher shows it's very informal. And, and I have friends that get very offended in this way. But yet I can completely understand that from where the child's coming from in their culture, it is appropriate to call a teacher by teacher and it's appropriate. So it's having to understand where the child or the student is coming from and also what the teacher expects within the classroom.